and yeah, and things are agreed upon before. So it all exists in a scientific realm. It's just to bridge the gap between the science to to that. And so if I come and tell you scientifically, hey, it's possible that this is the case, and I prove it to you mathematically. You have your science there. It's just it's not out there publicly because people don't really delve into quantum mechanics or quantum physics, or even medically, right? You know, um, DNA, human DNA emits biophotons, which is light, right? Right. It's so, like crystals. Like a light. Mm -hmm. So. I could say, well, okay, I have like what, 36 trillion cells in my body around. So maybe from a quantum perspective, that's what gives rise to your aura, because they have all this 36 trillion bio Reflecting light, yeah. Tiny amount of light at 36 trillion, maybe that's what gives rise to it. So I think the problem that we have with these things is that people think of it as superstitious or they don't have any scientific background for it, but the scientific background exists. It's just they're not exposed to it or they don't delve into it. Or it's very hard to translate these quantum mechanical, quantum physics concepts into words and link it to these things. I would also say that science isn't what science was. Yeah. And there are now all these regulatory boards around science and um, as I said before, it's an experimentation, it's research, it's building on old ideas, it's yeah. testing past theories uh, against new phenomena, and it, to me it's a growing thing, it's a constantly growing and evolving thing. But you can't discredit the science that went before, because that was the basis of, of science now. Yeah. Yeah. It's limited to the instruments you use to measure what you have access to, what you're looking for. So it's, it's evolving. It's not the end and know it all. But for some people, it provides some comfort saying, hey, well, I can link it to something scientific. Yeah.